Irritated Traveler Travel Log, Day 32. <laughs> We've experienced many hardships, <laughs> but we're still alive. We're in, the, we're in the middle of Arkansas. Well, not the middle, the northern part of Arkansas. And we had a harrowing trip here. It was eight hours of... Bumpy roads. I mean, even more bumpy than Louisiana, which I thought Louisiana was like the rock star of bumpy roads. Memphis was the worst. Memphis was horrifying. Going through Memphis was, yeah, worse than worse roads we've we've seen. Um, pretty much everything shook loose on the inside of the RV. Um, Nothing fell apart though. No, I didn't the, find any screws. The back the back uh, closet, the bar. Fell, fell, almost fell off the wall, yeah. so we had to do some repair on that. But um, other yeah. than the refrigerator rolling stuff around, we had a few glasses break. Um, shot glasses, sadly. Shot glasses, those broke. The freezer came open a couple times. And now we're at a place uh, in Arkansas here, and the, the ground is not very level. No, the jacks are so off. the tires, the front tires are just about off the ground. We're still not level, but I couldn't take the front tires off the ground. And um, so I don't know why they don't have level pads, but this is the second site in as many resorts we've been to that the, the that the uh, pads weren't level. Of course, oh. we got here, and then they had this dumpster, which we were nice enough to get put right by Front the dumpster smell. was was overloaded and there was garbage oh. all over everything all the birds um, are here to pick up the maggots the birds and and i went to throw some garbage away today and there's maggots like thousands and thousands oh, I of still them, see them. Yeah, looks like I some know. of them have been retreated a little bit so that was so that was nice the um, coolest part was the river that we we're next to is super cold yeah it's a trout river the white white river um, so apparently it's a big trout fishing river, and that's where we're at here. The resort's okay, it's dirt, and yeah. it's like, really, it's like limestone, so, it's so everything's dusty really everything. dusty. But right now we're headed out to the Ranger Boat Factory to do a little tour. Angie wanted to get a bass boat. Yes, so that's been my lifelong I, dream. So I said, you know, fine, we'll go up to the Ranger Boat Factory, <laughs> and we'll get you your bass well, boat that you've always wanted. at least I can pick the color wanted. that I want. Yeah. We took, we put Saki's cage out here today, but uh, he was not behaving. He no. was barking at everybody going by. So. so we put him back in. So that's what we're headed to today. And then we'll see where that we'll goes. Report. Okay, well, it looks like we are leaving this RV resort. We just got kicked out. Yeah. Um, as you can see, the resort is all like limestone. And every time you drive through here, you can get there. So they have a speed limit of 10 miles an hour. Well, we, were, we were coming in here 10 miles an hour, a little bit less, and some guy gave us a hard time because we were picking up too much dirt. So we explained to him that the RV kicks up way more dirt and that if they wanted to get rid of the dirt, they should be wetting this down or using some sort of soil pack or something on it. But he would not have that, so he went up and told the manager. The manager came over and decided that we were going to leave anyway because they were doing road construction down this road. They started road construction this morning and, and tore could... up the whole road. And there's and before they get down to the RV um, turn in, the road construction ends right there and they're doing it all the way down. Yep. And once we get locked in here, we won't be able to get out again. And by God. Because the roads are really, really small, you can't get around the construction trucks. So, and it's dirty. so we decided that when we came in here, we were leaving anyway. to beat the road construction. And so the manager came over and proceeded to rip us a new one. And so I gave it back to him a little bit. And obscenities were exchanged. Yep. And uh, they said, well, you're out of here. I said, well, good, we're leaving anyway. As um, you're picking everything up. So as we were packing everything <laughs> anyway. up. Anyway. So, uh, so that was interesting. Uh, I guess we'll, we had another uh, one in, in mind that we're gonna go to. It's about three hours away. So we're headed down the road and we're gonna do that. We'll let you know how it goes. So we made it to our next uh, destination, which is in Missouri. We we're about uh, four hours away from our last uh, stop. Um, as you can probably see, this place right along the highway is actually pretty nice. Um, we had the, the check-in staff was awesome. Yeah, the 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 lots were very level. 
we hardly even had to level at all. We could probably just could have pulled this in here and uh, pulled it up. We had last place we had about a we had about a, a foot and a half step off our yes, step because time, the front was so high. Every time I jumped out, Mike would be like, "Remember the last steps to do this?" <laughs> yeah. I'm like, "Okay." And the dumpster was not full up. Full up. No, um, no every, maggots. Everything's pretty quiet here. Everything's really well maintained. A lot of grass, no dust. Nope. They've got like pretty good rock here. Yep. Where, so we, um, yeah, so we went down the road, and uh, we got a we got an interesting text from the guy who accosted us at the last, or the manager, or whoever, the manager, whoever, whoever he was. Said it was the manager. Um, yeah, he sent us a, a interesting text. Uh, actually, a couple of them kind of nasty. Very nasty. Um, we didn't even contact him after that, or before it even. No. We just we just. We were leaving anyway, so um, it's always kind of interesting. But <clears throat> the um, it was probably the weirdest experience we've had. I think so. Where, it was where somebody just approached us and started um, dictating, started giving it to us right away. And you know, when we drove in there, we felt we were the only we were only the, the only nice coach in the whole place. Um, everybody was in travel trailers and fifth wheels, so, and we were the youngest people. It was a place where um, everybody lived. They, yeah, it was more full-timers. It was, full was, was full-timers, and they, we didn't really, we felt really weird out of place, which we normally do. Um, that was even more we're so. Not, we're not really the typical RVers, um, but when we pulled in there, we kind of, we didn't get the barbecue out, and Can after we, we saw the dumpster overloaded, and it was just, it reeked out there. It reeked like garbage because we were right next to the dumpster. And so we didn't, we chose not to get the barbecue out or anything. We just, um, we just kind of cooked inside. Yeah, we, we cooked our steaks in the air fryer. Yeah, we used the air fryer. We had air fryer steaks last yeah. night. So, but that's what we found a lot. A lot of the RV parks that we go to, we kind of get that same treatment from people where there's full timers is that they, they like to keep it like a small HOA community. And they don't like outsiders so much. They're no, not, not at all. the the full timers are not as friendly as just the people who travel. The regular travelers, like when we've stopped at KOAs along the road, like the Journeys and the other ones, there's always fun people there. They're just like you. They had a long day of travel. They got their stuff done. They have a quick meal. They have a drink in hand, and they're hanging around the RV resort. Like, so what fresh hell awaited you today? And then you'd share stories. <laughs> Yeah, that's, we, you know, when we were there, we talked to the one lady about her dog. Yeah. Um, she was nice, but. But she yeah. assumed we were stealing her dog. Yes. <laughs> so true. she approached us only because that's, she thought we were stealing. You're right. Jenny, come you're here. Right. I'm like. Because our dog looked just like hers. And so. she comes running out and she's like, oh my God, my dog. Yeah. And because we were walking him on a leash. And then she's like, we're like, uh, no, this is our dog. And she's like, oh, yeah. oh, I thought it was my dog. And then, and then she started, then we, you know. But was, she was friendly, her. but she, she assumed we were still yeah. and, and, you know, it's funny because we were there last night, and about 4.30, uh, Saki went nuts. Because he was looking out the window, like right at the door, and he woke us up out of a deep sleep, which oh, yeah. he never has done before. No. And was going crazy, barking. Um, so I don't know if somebody was outside, but I woke up the next morning and there was people milling around our RV, like looking at it, like walking around it, looking just at like it. We're being scoped and I'm out. like, I'm like, oh my god, I just got out of the shower, and we're just like, <laughs> oh my god, what just happened? So we, um, <laughs> so that was kind of interesting because there was a bunch of people. Yeah, it wasn't just one person. So it was, it was an interesting place. We were ready to leave there, anyways. <laughs> as soon as it we was, were it was uncomfortable, back, yeah. and then the whole parking or the. Yeah, so uh, yeah, what had what had basically happened was the guy. We drove in there, and we were getting ready to leave because we were just pulling out early because we because of all the road construction they were doing, we couldn't get out if we stay overnight. So we, I just decided, said, hey, we're gonna leave. Let's let's get back to work. So we, we we drove in there, and it's it's dusty. I mean, um, the 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 mail guy followed us right in. The guy delivering mail. And so we drive in there under the speed limit, of course, and we pull into our spot. And this guy comes and says, uh, well, he some, yells from some like, some like, hey, why don't you slow down? You know, you're kicking up too much dust. And of course, 
I proceeded. We're already irritated. Of course, of course I proceeded to tell him where to go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, so he he so he he throws he, down he and throws starts those. and starts walking over. So I'm like, and grab the gun out of the car just in case. So yeah. Um, so it took him a while to get over there, and he came over, <laughs> and just he's like he's like man. He's near right at. Yeah. He's like he's like why do you have to be so belligerent? And I'm like. I'm just driving in here and packing up. You told me I was going too fast. I was going under the speed limit. And I'm like, I don't want my coach to get dirty any more than I you mean, want your I don't know. coach to get dirty. Yeah, I'm like, I don't, I don't know what idea. He thought, you know, you got the nicest RV here. Yeah. You love dust and yeah, I have to wash yeah. that. You're the, you're the guy who likes to drive around this place yeah, and just, and just, just kick up dust. dust and throw dust all over everything. I was concerned when I drove in yes. that I was getting my, I mean, our car is really dirty from That's that filthy. place. All that dirt was from that place and just driving in. And I said, I said, well, I said, we're getting ready to leave here in about five minutes. And I said, I can tell you that this 45 foot RV kicks up way more dust, even at two miles an hour than that little tiny car does. And I said, so you're going to get just, just blanketed with dust once I leave here. Yeah. Like you did when I came in. Mm -hmm. And... And in and, 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 and the meantime, the post office guy is racing around the place and <laughs> kicking up dust. This morning we saw the garbage truck come in about 30 miles oh, yeah, an hour just with a plume of dust <laughs> behind him. And nobody said a word. And then the FedEx guy was coming in too. And nobody said a word to them. Nobody said a word. No. Nope. And you know they come in there every single day. But for us, somehow, the guy had to come and make a scene. So he's like, so I'm like, I'm like, well, we're leaving. I said, so, you know. It's, there's nothing you can do now. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, well, you, you wait. So he ran over, and all of a sudden the manager comes stomping by, or the owner of the manager. I've manager, his manager. Of manager yes. And just comes in and just is... Goes after you. Just, yeah, just a jerk. Just a jerk. And he goes, he comes over, the first thing he says is, good, you're packing up, because I was. it'll save me from having to kick you out. And I said, well, you don't have to worry, because... I said, after I've seen all this, this road work down here, I go, isn't it? I go, you know, it kind of really makes me a little irritated, of course, that we came in here and nobody mentioned that you're going to be redoing the whole roads and we wouldn't be able to leave. And he's like, well, we didn't know. I said, you didn't know that this whole construction crew is coming in, redoing the entire road, the only one road to get to your place. And you're the only, basically the only person on this, on this road other than a few other houses, but you're the main RV resort. And nobody even told you, nobody even gave you any notification. He goes, oh no, this this town is screwed up. Yeah, and the mayor, and this and that, up. I'm like. So he well, came man. out with this whole story, and then he then he just got belligerent. Then he just got they just belligerent. I said, I said, well, why don't you get a water truck and just water this down? I go, you can't tell people to go a half a mile an hour around here because it still kicks up dust. I said, the easiest way is just to put some water on here. and. He, and he's like, like that. yeah, he, that, and that set things off. And then, then it got into kind of a little argument, and and uh, uh, and he walked off. Uh, so, and we just we just hooked up and <laughs> pulled off. So, but uh, this place is a little bit nicer though, anyway. And um, it's a little cooler here too. Yeah. So we're not sure where we're going to go from here. We're kind of planning right now. Um, we were thinking about heading north, but we're uh, we're second guessing that maybe headed south again, working on some house stuff. Um, so, but other than that, the RV's been working good. So yeah, it's been excellent. Um, it held up actually this trip. We went back roads all the way here for four hours. And um, Not a problem. we didn't have any problem at all. Uh, the, everything stayed strong. The closet we fixed was good. Yep. Um, everything, everything held up good. So good I guess we'll continue on and uh, update you later.